everybody, and we are here again for a new episode of the Figure Out English podcast for English learners. The transcript will be available as usual on figureoutenglish.com as well as the learning notes and practice exercises. And let's start! We keep improving your speaking skills in English, and today I would like to go back to basics a little bit. Why? Because from my experience, it is where most mistakes are made. We will explore a B structure using the weather as an example. It is one of the most popular topics for conversations, but grammatically we often get lost because we don't have a subject, the who in the sentence. When we talk about the weather, we often use impersonal structures. But every English sentence, without any exception, should start with the subject i am a teacher they are worried and so on it, and problem is in many languages impersonal structures do not contain the subjects it's clear from the context we understand what we are talking about we say сегодня холодно in russian like today cold that's all in polish today is cold Hace frío in Spanish makes cold, and so on and so on. Сегодня and dziś, they both mean today, they are objects of time placed at the beginning of the sentence, but they don't become subject. And this is not possible in English. You need to get the subject. So when you translate your mind into English, you get is cold or today is cold. And both of them are wrong. Now think for a moment. How do you say it in your language? Do you always use this subject? If not, you need to be very careful. You could be making mistakes in English. Remember it as a functional principle. If it is an impersonal structure, you always start with it. Let's get, to, uh, let's get back to our example. I will say it is cold. Or it is cold today. Or if you emphasize the contrast with the yesterday, for example, you say today it is cold, but you still use this it, however many additional objects you will add to your sentence. I often hear was sunny, am tired, it's broken English, it is, and now you are giving your characteristics. Let's go for more examples about the weather. I can say it is warm, it is hot outside. I can say now it is very hot outside. So you see, I add more uh, uh, objects again, but the basic formula doesn't change. The same with questions. Is it sunny today? Is it windy? Is goes to the first place, but I still have the and the subject. Remember that the general question where, uh, we ask about the weather is what is the weather like today? The weather is a subject here, no problem, and be like is a complex verb structure. Why do we use like? I will tell you later in the episode 18, so stay tuned. But you don't use the subject again in the answer. Answering the question, what is the weather like today? I will answer, it is very nice. If you say the weather is nice to this question, well, it will be not completely wrong, but it will sound a little bit unnatural. And one more thing. Well, I wanted to say little, but it's actually not little. It is very important. When we talk about rainy weather or snowy weather, we have these two verbs in English rain, to rain and to snow. They mean going, yes, to go about rain or to go to about the snow. But again, we still don't have the subject. It's still the impersonal structure. When you're trying to say something like the rain goes, today rains, it is again not right. We still need to use that it. So we say it is raining right now. Yeah, present continuous, so we can change the tense structure. It rains here a lot, if I say about all the time. And the same with snow. I will say it is snowy now, or 
it snowed yesterday. Don't try to start to the sentence with the object again, yeah? So you can't say yesterday it snowed. But remember, uh, you see, I kept that it before the verb. The same with negatives. It doesn't snow very much here. It is not raining today. Ending the questions, of course. Does it snow a lot in your place? Yeah. Is it raining today? We will talk about structures with empty subjects and different tenses more in the next episode. But for now, it is very important for you to remember when you talk about impersonal characteristics with the subject it plus the verb to be, don't forget that it. Now the question is for you. What is the weather like today where you live? For me, it's warm and sunny and it's not going to rain. What about you? Thanks for listening. Please visit figureoutenglish.com for a free download of the transcript and learning notes. Don't forget to share and comment. Cheers!